In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Squarespace domain to GitHub pages. At the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do, and I'll show you in a step-by-step -step format. So on GitHub, you need to find your project. I'm going to click on my project here. Then we'll go to settings in the top right. Once you're in settings, go ahead and find pages and click on pages in the bottom left. Now you can see my website is live and here is the domain that it's currently using. It is a GitHub subdomain. Now, if we go ahead and click on this, here is my website. It is a very simple one page static website. What we're going to do is connect a custom domain from Squarespace. So go ahead and go to custom domain and then type in your domain here. So I'm going to go to Squarespace. Once I'm logged in, I can go to my profile icon. We can go to domains and from here we can find the domain. I'm going to use this one here, bradleyharrison.com. We'll click on it. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy my domain. We'll then head over to custom domains. We'll type www and then paste in the domain. We'll then click save. Now it's going to start scanning for the DNS records. Obviously, it's not going to pick them up yet because we haven't added them. Now we need to add five DNS records. So click learn more about configuring custom domains and we'll get this set up in a couple of minutes here. Then scroll down to manage in a custom domain. Click on that. Scroll down again until you find configuring an Apex domain. Now scroll down even more until you get to this table. It's going to explain what you need to do here, but I'm going to show you on video very simply. So copy the first A record, then go to Squarespace, go to DNS and inside of your DNS settings, go ahead and click add record. Then for the type, you want to choose A. For the host, enter at and for the IP address, paste in the first IP address given to you by GitHub. Then click save and there's the first A record added. Now let's copy the second IP address. Go ahead, add record, type A record. For the host, type at for the IP address, paste in the second IP address. So there's two. Now we'll do the same for number three. Add record, a record, at, paste in the IP address here. Click save. And then finally, one more. And then we need to add a CNAME record, which I'll explain in a second. So add record, at, type a record, IP address. Okay, so now we've added the four A records. Those have gone through great. If you have any A records that are already in your DNS settings, delete them. You only need four. Okay, so now what we need to do is keep scrolling down. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see configuring an Apex domain. This is where it's going to explain you need to add a CNAME record and you need to point it to your username.github.io. So go back and figure out your username. It's going to show it up here. So mine is knowledge base YT. All we need to do is go to add record. Then for the type, you want to change it to CNAME. For the host, type www. And then for the alias data, you want to type your username.github.io. So my username is knowledge base yt and then type dot github.io. Click save. Obviously, this will be your username.github.io. My username.github.io. Once you've added these five custom records, go back and you need to go ahead and check again or refresh the page. This will try and configure the DNS settings or it will propagate the DNS settings, right? Now, this can take up to five hours. So even if this doesn't show straight away, you don't have to do anything more. You just have to wait. Ah, but there you go. It did work. If it doesn't work straight away, just be patient. It can take up to five hours. Now it says DNS check successful. It is going to take a while for the SSL certificate to automatically be generated. But if you go to your URL here, it will be working. Here it connects to my website. You notice here not secure. That's because the SSL certificate hasn't generated yet. Again, just wait five hours. And after that, it should all be propagated and working. But well, that's how you connect it. I hope that quick video helped you out.